So if anything, I'm just want to end it like this. To all my pe to all the people that's that's to watching. To all my this. people in the struggle. You think God forgot about you? Here's some pain medicine. Mm -hmm. Word, word, mm -hmm. Kurt Franklin. If if anything, I'm glad that we have. I'm good. I'm personally glad to have my brothers here as well as my wife here. So you now have a a perspective of many angles that is needed for this particular conversation for this particular topic because when it's all said and done as men we especially christian men we have a job to do we have an obligation and the word made it clear of what that rock job is women have a job too it's not the same as men but it's it's it's, it's important it's not as strict as men but it's just as important it's just as important so when it's all said and done, some people that people that all men that's and women that's like Garvey, who took it upon himself to step outside of Christian boundaries, let alone marital boundaries, need to just take the time to sit back and just repent and think twice about doing stuff like this. Because if it goes to the point where it goes further and further, we as the body Got to get with the word. Companies like Reach Records. Yes, it sucked that they had to do it. They had to do it the way that they did it. But number number one, they did it. Number two, they have to do it to not just to save face, but to stick with what they stand by. Otherwise, they will be hypocritical in the first place. And Oh, last but not least, to the women. When it's all said and done, the 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 role that they play when it comes to this, not just to be a victim. Now, we may have history of women not speaking up inside and outside of the church. However, we also have a history of women speaking up and speaking now. Now, even though at a time like this for Garvey, all we don't know the full, the solid number of women that has been exposed by his pictures, but we do know one thing: despite how women is it is 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 is, is, is playing there, playing in this in this predicament. We know that there are women who are standing out and say, that's not cool. And it sucks that we have to step outside of, uh, step outside of order. Because if anything, he, Garvey should have exposed himself. Garvey should have exposed himself along with his wife. Well, now ex-wife. Yikes. It shouldn't have to get to the point where someone had to go on Twitter and Instagram and be like, this is the reason why they're divorced. You know what I'm saying? So anything, like my brother said, like my wife said, that same energy of exposing Garvey, there should be a balanced energy to forgive Garvey. Bigger energy. If if not bigger. Because at the end of the day, like I said, it is so easy to easy to expose someone to make that person hurt for, hurt for what they for the hurt that they provide to them. But Jesus has provided a way for us to be like, hey, yes, you're hurt. Yes, that person did you wrong. But if you don't forgive that person, you're no different from that person. So if anything, as much as we want to expose, let's do first of all, let's do things in order. Decency in order. Yes. Matthew 18. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and at the same time do it accordingly to how Christ did it and how God approves it because who are we to not forgive as much as we want to talk about Christian is supposed to judge we ain't supposed to judge no 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 for the umpteenth time we're supposed to judge it's up 
it's supposed to judge. We supposed to judge. We supposed to critique just as much as we supposed to correct. But at the same time, we should be able to forgive. Because the whole purpose of judging, of judgment, is to either convict or to redeem. One it up. But we should not have the heart to want somebody to fall, but don't have the heart to pick them up. If nothing else. AKA, don't be a part of the construction crew if you can't be a part of the rebuild crew. <laughs> Mercy, that was so hard. Say that again, please. I said, don't be a part of the construct the deconstruction crew, the demolition crew, if you can't be a part of the construction crew. All right, so. If nothing else. Yeah. I just, I just want to say one thing. It almost seems like um, since 2014 that um, Lecrae kind of set up to where it, not say, like I said, I'm not saying it directly or consciously or he actually did his own purpose. Mm-hmm. But how you set up because you got I you know say you got like several artists on your arm record label. Mm hmm You got Wanda, Andy Medio, um, Triple E, Tadashi, and who am I leaving up? Uh, what's up, RG? What's up, RG? Okay. Since you since the crate changed his whole um website how his core values slightly and how he carries himself in public now, I have to ask the question like, first of all, how is your artist looking up to you? Mm. Number one. <laughs> and number two, he, how you gonna sit there and hold your, probably one of the best producers in CHH mm. accountable for what he did in public since the whole world knows it now. Mm -hmm. But my question is, how come nobody really hold the credit, the leader of Reach Records, accountable through his whole actions? Come on. Because, because my thing is, not, not to say people can't handle themselves as adults, but people look at leadership as an example for uh, what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. So if the leader is not doing what he's supposed to do or think or make, basically make it okay for do certain things which he has started with the first thing he said back in 2004 14 i'm a rapper that's christian you know what i'm saying like then it gradually progressed to doing songs with secular artists then it progressed to going to um concerts Secular concerts, smoke, smoking a cigar. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's necessarily sinful, but people watching you, bro. Mm -hmm. You a celebrity, man. Maybe, maybe not like like Snoop Dogg level or anything like that, but you are a celebrity. People know you, bro. And people, when people look at that, especially in your own circle, people are gonna look at that it's like, oh. Then I could buy some Bachelor Luby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's bring it to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Garvey did have accountability. I, I, I watched a video that he, that he uh, interviewed on back in 2015 about this very same thing about women coming up to him, you know what I'm saying? Groupies and stuff like that. His own boy. Hold, hold him accountable for stuff like that every time he goes on tour. Matter of fact, Gary and his friend created a symbol for when, you know what I'm saying, when um, things get uncomfortable, when multiple women start touching him unnecessarily or say some explicit things to him, it, he brings a signal like, hey, I need you to break this up. You know what I'm saying? They share the hotel to make sure no women get inside their hotel room. Hmm. But um, but then this happens, which brings to this point. It's okay to have accountability partners, but my question to y'all, both ladies and men, what do you do in a 
somewhat sinful situation when you, and your accountability part ain't there. You know what I'm saying? They don't answer the text. Mm -mm. They don't this come This might drop. have to be a part three because I got some reasons for that. Mm -hmm. I got, because I my accountability mm -hmm. partners, I reach out to them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, hey, I'm about to do something real stupid. I need you to talk me off the ledge. <laughs> They're like, what you about to do? I'm about to sing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, call me, call me. I'm like, okay. And by that time, we usually end up laughing and I fall asleep right after. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, not to cut you off either. I just... No, I was done. But that's a, that is a I, solid I just, question. That it, it is a solid question. And I think that needs to be its own video, to be honest, because... Man, that's that's a big thing. Like, what do you do when your accountability is not there to keep you accountable? Mm -hmm. That's when holding yourself accountable comes into play. Mm -hmm. I mean, my whole my 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 biggest problem with the Corey, and I'm going on record to say that I'm prepared for the backlash, is that he says he's a rapper that's a Christian. You need to be a Christian who raps. Mm -hmm. um, dig, dig. You need mm -hmm. to be a Christian first. Because when you're not rapping, what are you? Mm. When you are not in the face of a camera or in a studio, what are you? Mm. You're a rapper that claims to be Christian. So if you take away the rapper, are you still a Christian? Mm. Or are you just Lecrae? Mm. Because those might be two different people. Mm -hmm. I'm Jessica and I'm JL. Jessica holds JL accountable because without Jessica's prayer life, without Jessica's reading the word, without Jessica being able to go to God for when she sins, there is no JL. Mm. And that's just me being real on the topic. I mean, the whole point of this, and I, I just want to end it here because realistically I'm starving and I want tacos. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> I'm just being goofy, y'all. But um, I'm going I'm to end it, my part in this and say this. Regardless of the situation, whoever was involved, accountability. Don't have your energy match the same energy that you use to gossip about it. Make your energy bigger to forgive. Because you need big energy to forgive big. Um yeah. And there you have it. That's my wife, y'all. Yes. Ain't I'm the missus. Oh. <laughs> She's so lovely. <laughs> we pray us out. I'm mm -hmm. going to. All right, bow your okay. heads. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this time together, Lord. We thank you for everybody who was able to tune in today. And to, to hear our opinions and our differences of opinion and our agreements, Lord, agreements, not agreements. Um, but Lord, I just thank you, Father, for us being able to have an opinion, but Lord, being able to apply your word to it and being able to, to understand that while this is our opinion, Lord, the bottom line is you reign. We have to seek you in all things, God. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for every person that watches this video. We thank you for every person that shares this video and subscribes in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, for this time that we have had together, Lord. And we just thank you. We honor you. We give you praise, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, consider this the first time ever, ever, that we had somebody to just Pray us out on record. So, if anything, this is definitely going to be an impactful stuff. So, without further ado, I want to thank my brother, Mr. Analytical, for coming along and dropping jewels as well as his piece. I definitely want to thank my wife for coming I in and doing the same thing. To poopy. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, chances are we're definitely going to get Mr. Analytical to come back and bless us with another one mm -hmm. from his heart. And I guarantee you this will not be the last time you will see my wife on this channel. So be prepared to be blessed in, in so many ways. But, as, but like I always say, there's a like button if you like what you heard. Dislike if you don't, if you don't like what you heard. God bless you for doing both. Go on the comment board. 
give me give me what's on your heart and if you disagree please do be disagreeable but not disrespectful Boom. subscribe share this on with somebody have this conversation be spread upon until then as always your boy p lot aka the brick slinger it's your girl jl i'm mr Look. continue to sharpen one another support the kingdom take care and god bless labor words